Jonathan Robinson and his wife moved to their Bentonville home on Southeast 8th Street in May. Two days into buying my house, the yard was half flooded and I was a little worried. So he snapped a couple of photos and took his concern to City Hall. And I've been going to City Hall every month for the last five, six months to let them know, hey, this is a big deal and, and I want to make sure this is resolved. Robinson says he's even taken matters into his own hands, cutting the bottom part of his fence and removing a tree to make sure the water flows out of their yard. But it still isn't enough. And when those floods come, I can't do anything, and they'll stick around for a while, and it's, and it's too muddy to do things. Flooding isn't only a concern behind the Robinson's house. It's a problem here on Water Tower Road, as you can see behind me, as well as downtown Bentonville. Transportation Director Dennis Burge is proposing the city hire a group of engineers to study how it can improve the drainage system on Southeast 8th Street, Water Tower Road, and this area of downtown Bentonville. We go out with our maintenance crews and we do what we can uh, in the areas and, we, and we're starting to realize that in some areas that's not enough. It's still, it's still becoming a flooding issue. Tuesday, the city will vote whether to allocate over 28 grand towards the study on Water Tower Road and Southeast 8th Street. It'll also decide on investing in the study in downtown Bentonville, a project that could cost 800 grand because of older infrastructure. This was first done years ago and there were no underground uh, drainage infrastructure in place. Uh, there's still none in most of the downtown area. Robinson says he's looking forward to seeing what the city decides. To me, I want to make sure I enjoy my backyard. I'm not here just to watch a puddles, but I want to be able to grow a garden and to throw a football. The meeting will start at 6 p.m. Tuesday. In Bentonville, Crystal Martinez, Fox 24 News. Thank you.